Paul. Um, been a, a bit of a difficult evening. Uh, 3 0 defeat at Gloucester certainly wasn't what you would have um, come um, expecting. Um, and I think the first half was, was probably where all the damage was done, wasn't it? Yeah, it was because you know we came out in the second half and had a goal, made a couple of changes, had a goal, but that's the easy time to do it. Um, you know, we've worked on things with and without the ball for the last three training sessions, and you feel like you're getting somewhere, you feel like you're getting, you know, good information into the lads. Um, and at times we carried it out, at, uh, you know, for big chunks of the first half, we certainly didn't. I thought, you know, fair play to Gloucester, they, they came out and they, they really put it on us, moved the ball well, had good movements off the ball, um, and had a confidence, which we're clearly lacking. Um, you know, if, if, if you could bottle it, it'd be worth millions. But we we've just got to keep working and trying to to find what's missing. Um, you know, little bits and pieces in the first half where you go, you know, with a little bit more on it or a little bit off off the pass or you know, if he just if he just moves a little bit earlier. And it's always I said, I keep saying it, I'm sick of the sound of my own voice saying the same things. Um, but we just have to keep working and keep trying and keep keep looking at things and 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 keep obviously looking to improve. What we've got, because clearly what we're showing is we're not good enough. Sure, I mean you you are you know prepared to sort of like say that and, and face up to things. I know from you know speaking to you for the last few months that it, you certainly don't like back down from that kind of challenge. Um, you know it, it's it's you know t- tricky times, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, listen, there's there's something that's clearly not right with us. Um, you know, because we don't look too much of a threat, and yet we look a bit flimsy at times as well. Um, in between it, we can put things together, and we look we look okay. But then other times, we, we just look too much like we've got a soft centre. Um, and one of the biggest things you you know, in terms of me or in, in, when I was a player, and the biggest insult you can have is, is, or the biggest insult you can receive is someone questioning your heart. And your desire, <clears throat> and I've had to do that tonight because it hurts me. And I go home, and, and you know, I see the fans, and I, I feel a frustration because it, because I'm frustrated. I don't sleep, and it's you know, it, it's part of how I'm made up, and I'm sure it's part of the, the passion that the fans show, and that's why they pay the money and they come on journeys like tonight, and they, and, they, and they, we want to support the team. Um, we've got to give them more. Clearly, we've got to give them more. They're not getting enough from us. Um, we're getting punished for every mistake we make. We're getting punished, and that obviously needs to change because we're not doing enough to force the issue the other end. And like I said before, we're being we're, we're flimsy uh, in our own box and. Like I say, I've made changes. I've, I've I've changed it up a little bit. We've worked on we've worked on a lot of things. Being difficult to beat without the ball, being narrow, being compact, and we were we were on our heels and they were on the toes in the first half tonight. Yeah, I mean, you you mentioned last week. I mean, I don't think you were stating it, but you you were sort of asking the question of yourself that you, you mentioned the phrase, "Are oh, we a bit of a soft touch?" Basically, um, uh, is that how you felt again this evening? You've seen it. If, if anyone who's been here tonight seen it, you know um, we're nice to play against. Um, I think Sam McClintock and Brendan came off at half time. It could have been anyone. Could have been anyone. Um, I just, you know, we are that. We are. We are easy to play against. We're open. Um, <coughs> you know, and I take responsibility for that. There's players in there who take responsibility in that. There's certain players who need to. Uh, who need to step up and show what they're capable of because at the minute they're under they're underperforming. There's a there's a good good number underperforming. Um who are better. And I asked the question when I came into the club to, to the group of players I inherited. If 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 I asked you individually do you think you should be playing in a bottom bottom three or four side in the division you'd all say no. And that'd be the same in there. But they're saying no and then there's backing it. And We've got a back it. Um, you know, FA Cup on Saturday they will be rubbing their hands together, rubbing their hands together, thinking we could be the ones here. 
and it'll be you know it'll be down to us to show that you know this is an opportunity where we can win where we where we should win but nothing's ever that easy nothing's ever done on paper no football matches is won on paper um, we've just got to have more heart more desire the ability is there but we're just not showing it confidence is a massive thing in, in, in all sports but the way to find your confidence is by working as hard as you can by working in a direction that you show which 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 we have um, and sticking together that's the main thing is sticking together because when you try on on the pitch as an individual and it doesn't come off you, you feel as an individual but when it's a team and when it's a collective it's the only way you get out of a rut is by sticking together and showing the heart as a team that's what we've got to do sure. and, and it strikes me that's it's quite a difficult thing you, you speak about the FA Cup game on Saturday in that you know you want to make the players aware of the fact that you know the, the opposition probably will see this result tonight and fancy it but what you can't do is put too much that that worry that, that that thought that it might be us into their heads because you don't want to inhibit them too much either well the thing is about it there comes a point where you go well how, how much how much more protection can we have as a squad as a management how much more protection we've got to show it on the pitch we've got to show it on the pitch and and, and good teams or good players and good staff and management they show up when when the times are tough and that's all we've been trying to do. Trust me with that. That's all we've been trying to do. And we just have to keep working at it because, like you say, there's no shortcuts to it. You've got to keep working at it. You've got to keep uh, working on your principles and your beliefs. Um, and you've got to, you know, you've got to have that little bit of luck at times. It's not working for us at the minute. But, you know, that luck's not coming our way. Um, but we can't be crying it in. We've got to make it happen got to force the issue more I said it last week um, so Saturday is massive not just because it's the FA Cup not just because it's at home and we should win but it's massive for our season because it could be something where we, we get kickstart we, we get a kickstart from that's what we've got to aim to do in a big way we've got to we've got to push it in a big way um, there were you know tempering that there were some positives in what we saw in the second half I think particularly the introduction of Nate Blissett and more specifically Jamie Allen I think you know 45 minutes from him did give more of a glimpse of what he can bring to the team and there was a lot of positivity and he was prepared to run at people and, and be direct wasn't he and that and that, that bodes well I think yeah definitely we listen we brought him in it probably probably had a, a bit longer than I would have liked but you know it was a case of needs must um, from where he's at but he's had three good training sessions you know five in total now which where he's, you know, he's he's getting up to speed. But you can see the type of impact he will have for us, um, and he's going to be important for us. Bliss, Bliss showed up tonight. Bliss showed what he was about tonight. He had a bit of fire and he had a bit of fight in him because I've let him down. Uh, when, when I say I've let him down, I've left him out. I should say mm -hmm. I've disappointed him. But you know, he, he knows he's he's been offered. You know, he's one of those who's been who's been offered. But you know, tonight I think you see what he's capable of. He holds it up. He's strong. He's good with his feet. He's aggressive. Um, you know, and I'll have that all day. I'll have that all day from mm. from him. Um, there's a few more needs, a bit more of that as well. Sure, and that, that's how you want people to respond when they're left out. By, you know, I want them to, I, want, I, I, wa I don't want it easy to leave people out at the minute. It's easy leaving people out because no one can come at me and say, "Why are you leaving me out?" Because there isn't too many who are stepping up to the plate and playing their part in. In, in being a good side, mm -hmm. you know, because like I said, at the minute we're conceding, we're not scoring, and it only it only ends up one way. It only ends up with one outcome and the result. Um, so when you get responses and when you get people coming on and performing off the bench, then the next step is do it for ninety, do it from the off, because we've got to we've got to be doing things from the off. As I say, last week I speak to Paul at Leamington, who tells me Tommy Widdington told him we're the best the best team they've played. It means nothing because we haven't won since we played them. We didn't win when we played them. So compliments and a few you couldn't you couldn't give us any compliments in the first half at all tonight. Mm. Second half, yeah, we had a goal, but like I said, it was two 0 when we started turning up. Sure. Um, just to close as well, um, 
Uh, when there was some momentum building in that game, unfortunately it was lost with the um, uh, injury to Devon Green. Just give us an update on him. Well, it doesn't rain, does it? A pause. Um, he's, I think, as he's as he's got tried to go around the outside, he's ended up a um, little bit of a coming together, and he's ended up hitting his face onto the into the railings. Um, he was he was up on his feet on the coach, so I don't think he's I don't think he's too bad. But obviously, we just have to we just have to monitor it. It was obviously bad enough where he couldn't stay on, so uh, we'll have to see how that is. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Okay, thanks very much for your time, Paul. Appreciate it. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.